uh, right be below our title here, it says, below are some given line segments that you will use to construct new line segments. So you can see you have line segment AB, line segment EF, CD, so on and so forth, okay? So the first job that we need to do today, you can see right here, says, in the space below, use your compass and straight edge to create one copy each of the five given line segments, and then you're gonna label them with the same endpoint names. Now, let me be real clear about something so that you understand this, all right? Your ruler that you have in front of you is not for measuring anything. It's just simply for drawing straight paths, okay? The tool that you're gonna show me that you know how to use, the one that I'm gonna grade you on, and the one that's gonna do all your measuring for you is the compass. So you need to show me that you know how to use the compass to measure, that would be using that tool strategically and appropriately, okay? All right, so let me grab my tools out here. So I'm gonna go get my, let's see, I need my compass, got that, and I'm gonna need my straight edge as well. All right, good, good, good. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want you to do is take your compass and I want you to put the point at A. I want you to put the tip of your compass at A. And then I want you to set your compass distance so that the pencil is at B. So we want the compass opening to stretch but the, the same length as line segment AB. And then go ahead and righty tidy that down because you're gonna wanna keep that position for uh, what we're gonna be doing here. So make sure you have that measured out and then keep that position locked down nice and tight. All right? Okay, now here's what I want you to do. We are going to draw a circle here on this one. So I'm gonna draw this circle all the way around line segment A, B here. And we're only gonna do this on this one. We're not actually gonna do this on the other ones. I just want you to see something here. So I'm gonna set my compass aside without letting it get adjusted. I wanna keep that same distance right there, but I'm just gonna kind of put it aside for a minute. And by way of somewhat of a reminder, I, I, wanna, I wanna bring to your attention again what we're actually measuring with this compass. Okay, so if I put my tip at A and I draw this circle around, I'm actually creating radiuses, rad radii, if you will, okay? I mean, the line segment AB, A is the center of that circle and B is, from A to, e, a to B is a radius of that circle. A radius, just by way of reminder again, let's make this note on here. A radius is the distance from a point on the circle in a straight path to the center of the circle. So pick any point on the circle and draw a straight path to the center of the circle, that's a radius, okay? So really what our compass is measuring for us are radii of circles, okay? That's important to keep in mind, okay? So when we, when we set our compass setting, we're setting it to measure radii of circle. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my compass and my straight edge down here and let's come down into this space down here and what I want to do in this space down here is I want to create a straight working path. And so for me, just because I'm, I'm, I'm a little different like this and kind of weird, I'm going to make mine sort of slope up. You can do your straight. You can make it slope down. I don't really care how you do it. But I, I just because just I want my notes to look different and interesting, here's what I'm going to do. I want a working straight path. And I want it about, I don't know, sort of long like that, longer than AB. doesn't need to be really long, but it definitely needs to be longer than AB. So let's just get a kind of a working path down there. So you're gonna take your ruler, guys, you need this out. You're gonna take your ruler and you're gonna make a straight working path right here, okay? Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a point on that working path. I choose to put my point here and call it A. You could put your point you know, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna stretch out this way to, to put point B, so don't put it way over here. But if you want to put it at the end, that's fine. You want to put it towards the beginning, that's fine. All right. Now, once I have my point A on there, I'm gonna bring my compass back over, and I'm gonna set the tip of my compass right at point A. And I have the same setting that I had earlier for my radius AB. So you can see here, if you watch up on the screen real quick, take a look up on the screen, you can see here that I've got my compass and I could draw this whole circle and I could duplicate that whole circle, right? From the, from the one that I made right up at the top of my paper. But I don't wanna do that. Cause we're gonna have five lines down here and, all, and that's gonna create a whole lot of circles. It's gonna get a little messy. So here's what I wanna do. We're just gonna draw part of the circle. I'm gonna start a little bit above the line and I'm gonna draw part of the circle and I'm gonna come down a little bit below the line and then I'm gonna stop. That's actually called an arc. When you only draw part of a circle, 
It's called an arc. And so what I did there, and I'll move my compass out of the way, is I just drew part of the circle. Again, I could draw the whole circle, and that would be okay. But right now, I just want the arc on there. Because I know that where that arc and that line segment meet is just like in the picture up here above. That's where B and my line segment met right there with the circle. So I just didn't draw the whole circle. I just drew an arc, a part of the circle. Okay. Now what I can do is I can put a point B right here. And then once I put that point B, I'm almost ready to finish up my construction. And here's how you're going to indicate to me that you know what you're doing. Okay. For one thing, I need to see the arc. That's going to show me that you measured with the compass. Okay. The next thing that I want you to do is you're actually going to erase the edges up to your two points. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab my little eraser tool and I'm going to, I'm going to erase this right here up to that point, but I want to leave the arc and the point and then I'm gonna I'm gonna erase this over here like that okay so now I can see that I have a line segment a B and then the last thing I want you to do is I want you to color that line segment a little bit with your highlighter or your marker and so you'll come in and you're just gonna highlight from a to B like that so that I know that you have those pieces together